Hey everybody, it's Angela back with another process video and this one is going to be of some pictures from my birthday from last year and my birthday's in March so that was, you know, it's coming on to my birthday again so I figured I'd better get this one documented and I kept the ephemera from the birthday. Uh, when we got there on the table they had a card and some rose petals and I went ahead and dried and pressed those rose petals. Um, and kept the receipt and stuff like that. And my thought process going into this was I was going to use some stencils by Folk Art and put them on top of this Chow Bella paper. And that paper's from Die Cuts with a View. And here you can see I'm taking the Folk Art stencils and they are just a like a cardstock stencil. And I wanted to use them like a cut file since I don't have a silhouette but my pictures are really dark because they were taken inside the restaurant and the contrast was just a little bit too high it was just I don't know the photos were really dark for what I was trying to go for with that nice bright white uh, stencil so I don't wind up using the stencil I'm gonna save that for another layout but I do like this die cuts with a view paper and the Chow Bella has always been a little daunting for me because you can see the images are so huge on there. Um, and all the papers are like that. It has like that big pre-printed cluster on there um, that some of them have big medallions or um, large birds. And, and so that kind of always intimidated me. But I wanted to push past that um, because that paper there in my hand, the gold one that I wind up using, just has the perfect color scheme. And because I'm wearing a kind of rusty red colored turtleneck sweater, the candle on the table is kind of that burgundy rust color and my drink that's on the table. And then I have those yellow rose petals. So even though it's not really my color scheme, it's not something I normally would have gravitated towards. Because it matches so well with that photo, I really, I love how it turned out, even though it's not really my style. Um, I just kind of went with the cues that were in the photographs. So there I'm looking through to see if I can, like, maybe fussy cut something out of those papers. And I do wind up fussy cutting that white rose out of that red paper there. But I got to thinking, hey, Maggie Holmes has some flowers that are very much similar. So I pulled out those roses and some of them are the exact same image it was really funny I was like pulling them out and you'll see here I'll put one right up against it I think because there it is that one's exactly the same as the one on the paper I think because they're vintage like copyright free images probably um, different designers use them so that was kinda cool that I had some that matched and I'm just going to wind up doing just a flower cluster around this since it was kind of more of an, an elegant evening. Um, we went to El Gaucho's and I had never been to a really nice steakhouse before. And so I'm in, I'm in love. That was like the best dinner I'd had in a long time. I've never been to a fancy restaurant quite like that before. And so it was awesome. And it was just that it, the bill was awesome too but luckily we had had a gift certificate that we had gotten previously like a year before and it hadn't expired so we were able to put that towards the cost of the dinner so yeah I totally want to go back there again but I doubt we'll be able to afford it again this year but it was really a treat so I think it was like one of my best best ever <laughs> birthdays so I wind up using these uh, Dear Lizzie Thickers in gold and that's gonna be my title best ever because it was the steak that I had was so awesome and these here this is an old item this is from 2007 they're called coasters I can't remember who made these but I'm sure they're not in business anymore and they're just the month with all the days around it and you can circle the the day so I'm just going to put March and then I'll circle my birthday on there and I'm tucking that in. These are some Melody Ross clips and these were from 2010. So the other thing was from 2007. This one's from 2010. So this is a total 
stash buster. I don't know when the Chow Bella paper was put out, but that's an old one too. And here's another oldie Cosmo Cricut, I think from 2012. And uh, I wind up, I think only using one thing from this chipboard piece, uh, like a butterfly. The white edges on it were just a little bit too bright. You can see that butterfly just stands out too much. Um, I wind up using one down here more on my photo where it blends in a little better. So I use one of those and then I use a butterfly that was just on my desk from a previous layout, that big one there. And I really thought about using the card and the rose petals they had left on the table and putting them on the layout. And then I also thought about, well, maybe I'll just put them in my junk journal, but I kind of wanted them all to go together. So I'm going to wind up putting them on the back of my layout here. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Took a couple more hearts off of that thicker sheet just to bring a little bit more gold into the layout. I put a little extra glue that actually the adhesive on the back of those Cosmo Cricut chipboards were pretty good, but I went ahead and put some glue anyway. So I'm really liking that, and I love how it all color coordinates, even though it's like all different kinds of collections and items from all different dates. So I'm taking some Heidi Swap Color Shine, just putting a little bit of gold on there because I'm kind of addicted to the gold lately and it just works so well with that color scheme. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I want to do some journaling on here. So I kind of have to sop up a little bit of that gold um, to go ahead and put my lines at the bottom. I just circled uh, the date on that coaster. And then I take my pencil and I draw my journaling lines and I write my journaling in pencil first. And then I go back over it with a, a pen. And that way I don't get my journaling all crooked and and stuff like that. So I do that. Oh, and then there were a couple um, in the Maggie Holmes flower pack, um, a couple of gold leaves and I do add a few more touches of gold on the layout. And then that's pretty much it for the front and I have some little bags that I had gotten it Tuesday morning a while ago and they don't really zip they're not like Ziploc bags or just these little cellophane bags but they're nice and clear so I take a small bag just to put the dried rose petals in and then I have a little bit larger one here for the card and the receipt and then I also have like our parking um, ticket stub and all of these are really flat you know items so I'm just going to go ahead and tape them on the back of my layout and it's not going to add much bulk at all to my album but they're gonna be all together which is kind of cool no one's really gonna know that they're there except me or someone who takes apart or takes the page out of the album at some point but I just like the fact that it's a little surprise that's kind of taped back there like a like a time capsule with the extra items. So that was just a fun way to include those so they didn't get lost and they stayed in context with where I got them. And so that pretty much finishes the layout. It was really quick, went together really simple. Like I said, it's not really the normal color scheme I would go for, but because it all matches the photos so well, I really love how it turned out. And I love the fact that I got to use a lot of items from my stash. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. And I got this birthday documented before the next one comes around. So there's a close up. You can see the thickers and that Melody Ross clip little coaster peeking out there, the Maggie Holmes flowers and die cuts with a view paper. And so that is the finished layout. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you have any questions or anything, uh, just leave me a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.